Greetings and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm Caledon and I am joined here today with... With? With? <laughs> yes, with Catherine of Sky and Arakel. How are you guys today? I am the lizard one. <laughs> <laughs> Who just left my screen. And I am walking like a supermodel. <laughs> And every time I stop, I bob my neck like a bird. <laughs> you gotta watch this on the video. <laughs> I think someone misunderstood when they asked for models to, um, <laughs> to put in the, the, the animations. Mm -hmm. I think they got a the wrong kind of model. Mm -hmm. Yes, I mean, when you hire lizard people, you never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Okay, so there's like a little maelstrom. Oh, that's Fort Joy, right. Uh, should we go somewhere? Yes, we should go up this. Yes. You want to go upstairs? Let's go. Ah, up. there's a flower, flower pot here. I shall take it. Thank you. <laughs> there's okay. there's a child down here. Would our child. Pers yeah, would our persuasive person care to talk to the not child? Not really. I'm not, I'm not big into talking to children. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk to lizards. No. <laughs> um, tell him that's a pity. Lizards are famed storytellers. Really? Like, what kind of stories? Hmm. This sounds better. Say mm -hmm. you could recount the tales of Visha, a famed lizard adventurer who slew the seven-headed snake of Orem. A seven-headed snake? That sounds scary. It was. Can I hear it anyway? <laughs> sure. You do tell the tale of Fisher, but despite your best efforts, you notice that your knowledge of legends and monsters is somehow upsetting the child. He asked for it. Are you a sorcerer? <laughs> One of those guys that brings the bad void things here. Hmm. As if he thinks I look like one. <laughs> I would. I would say this. Not mm -hmm. you are, and by the looks of that collar, yeah. So it's him. Looks you straight on. Unafraid, searching your face. He lifts his mirror to his nose, closes one eye, and looks at himself again. Mm -hmm. I just had the most interesting thought that he's probably looking up his nostrils to see if he has any magic in there. I don't know <laughs> if the you or me. I guess they're wrong. See, they're or wrong crazy. or they're crazy. It could be and both. Hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, they may be wrong and crazy. Maybe you're right. At least they don't mind where anyone goes. They know we can't leave the island, but it's a lot nicer out here than inside. I'm going to say number two. Say it isn't safe out here. Your ship was attacked by Void Woken not far off the shore. But you didn't die. Um, why doesn't he seem yes, scared? I am, but it's just normal to be scared. Nowhere isn't scary. That's they scary. want us to keep saying this here, so we there might as well. There isn't anywhere safer. That's what I mean. You'll see. All right, I'm gonna take my leave right with me. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna pick up these uh, vases as well? I can't. It's it's broken. <laughs> okay, it's not much up here. Oh, it's a nice staircase. Mhm. Mm that ends abruptly. <laughs> We'll be back here later. Okay. The graphics in this game are really amazing. They're very pretty. Oh, whisper wood and a short stick, which is very sturdy, apparently. There's some leather straps up here. Void scraps, not straps. Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. Damn, they made it to shore. There's a bush. There's a very conspicuous here. bush walking around here. <laughs> oh, I'm in a fight at the moment. Well, shoot, it, it attacked me. Let's see. Decaying touch or mosquito swarm? Let's go with the swarm. Why not? Whack. Is that your cat meowing? Or is it the game? 
It's the game. None of my cats are meowing. They are all too tired to meow oh, at the moment. It's our cat. <clears throat> oh, it's your cat. <laughs> Um, I don't want to stand here, I think, so I'll go over there, since Stig mm -hmm. will probably do something magical. And I don't want oil on me. <laughs> nice. Um, what are we in combat with now? Where is the final one? It's next to me. Oh, you didn't kill it's, it. I didn't manage to kill it now. I'm a healer, not a killer. Ta. Oh, excellent. Well, you didn't kill it either. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I made it knocked over. Yeah, yeah, you, you lessened its life force. That's good. Oh, here comes the fire. Whoa. Whoa. Hello. Oh, level up. If? Yay. Level up. Ah, uh, time to level up. the slain beasts and comment that they must have been the cause of the shipwreck. Um, they're just animals. Easy enough to euthanize. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. They're just animals. Easy enough to euthanize. Oh, we're interacting with one another. Yes, mm. we do so every time we level up, I think. They didn't put up much of a fight. Dry land mustn't suit them. They didn't put up much of a fight. Dry land mustn't suit them. Well then, eh, I'll choose. We never feel good about slaying these things. I never feel good after having things. slain a beast, even a bloodthirsty one. Such a good addition. Yes. I'm aware. <laughs> it is a critical failure of mine. <laughs> but you didn't want to rescue the people on the ship, though. <laughs> well, it didn't seem like there were enough time. And who knows, those people could have been, you know, Children? not alive. We have no special dispensation for children. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, um, so maybe we should uh, level up then before yes. we go anywhere. How do I do that? Uh, skill panel. No, not skill panel. Inventory? No. Yes. yes. Inventory ah. on your left side. Yes. Press I. Ah, yes. We have many abilities, apparently. The bucket that I'm having on my head, it has flavor text. Can hold fluids or heads. <laughs> oh, <they're good. laughs> uh, nice. I shall take one strength and one constitution. Two minutes, uh, one strength and one constitution. Right. Do I want to I go... I only got one... Oh, I'm looking at the other things. Now, should I bother taking Persuasion? Because um, I know there are other people who are fighting me for it at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to take any Persuasion. Okay. Okay, I'm... but you're going to continue to talk to them. <laughs> Try to make trades. Going to push them into <laughs> trades, are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to take when it comes to weapons. Should I go single-handed so that I can even wield a shield? Or should I go with some defensive skill like leadership or... No, leadership sounds good, actually. Leadership or single-handed, that's the two options. If I take leadership, uh, I will grant you dodging and resistance bonuses. It's very impressive. Plus 2% dodge and plus 3% to all resistances. It actually becomes very good because the, the percentage increase for each point you put in. Um, but if you're going to be the tank, you should alternate between single-handed leadership and your skill. My skill? Yes. Which skill? Warfare. Yes. Maybe I should take that instead. Mm -hmm. Yes, I, I take because warfare. it's important to also be able to do enough damage to take down things mm -hmm. quickly, because it's, uh, it's very difficult to have full of battles. However, the trait Lucky Charm, which increases my likelihood of finding extra treasure wherever loot is stashed, that might be good for me. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
really. <clears throat> well, it's it's a matter of either taking a third point in bartering, or I could take lucky charm, or I could do some nasty deeds and do some thievery. That means we get lock picking. Oh, oh yes, it could. Yeah, uh, we, we need thievery, lock picking. Good. Okay, I'll do that then. <laughs> we need thievery, lock picking. Good. <laughs> me speak primal, me Stone Age man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to decide which one I should do. Retribution looks pretty tasty. Yes, but will you be? Isn't that for close combat? Yeah. Well, they attacked me this time. Oh. You know, I I I found a book of poetry. I think I'm gonna take the necromancer one. I'll level that up. Yeah. Okay. I I shall have to read this. Although. How do you attack with your regular weapon? Um. You just click on it, or you just click I've on them. I've been using yeah. abilities. Uh, other, okay. uh, if not one, on my hotbar is basic attack. Oh, I neglect to look at that one. <clears throat> Never mind. Yeah, logic and all that stuff. Yeah, that stuff. Yeah, it's so hard, man. So I have this book called Churl and Chuff, which says that the poems in this book would make even the lustiest of dwarves blush. I think I shall read this book for you all. How long is the book? Not very. A woman from Driftwood, with nary a care, offered me kisses that answered my prayer. I accepted her gift, and then to my dismay, a spider she was, and I her buffet. Once feasting was over, <laughs> she licked her red lips. I rose from the floor, still coming to grips. She thanked me for coming, and bade her farewell. My prayer indeed answered, though still I did swell. Oh dear. Moving on. That was a most impressive poem. Oh yes. Oh. I found a book that is usable for learning how to craft uh, weapons, I think. Cool. Crafty weaponry, die by the sword. It's very big shells. Since I'm the one that's going to use them, I suppose I should read it. Oh, mm -hmm. a word of advice to the badly armed. Tie your knife or shiv if that's all you have to a stick or a branch. Now we've got a sword of sorts. That was a very helpful book. Mm -hmm. So there is something... Have you been able to craft that before? No. Here's the Red Prince. Persuasion oh. woman? Yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Yes, you recognize him from the ship. It would seem you're not the only one who survived the tentacles of the deep. Hmm. Now it's great him. Turns him up with the graceful ease of a dancer. You were uncertain or there. A duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle your very soul. Well, if we can get help, it survive, might be worth yes. it. And chances are I wouldn't have, had you not returned to the aid of your fellow passengers down in that dreadful sort of. <clears throat> You have my gratitude. Mm -hmm. See? And over heart, he salutes you with a bob of the head. More than a nod, though less than a bow. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to choose number one. Let's not get carried away, shall we? Now, okay. then, if there's nothing further... Yeah, what is he doing he's standing I'm on sure this rock? I don't mean to sound condescending, but I had thought it quite self-evident. I was gazing out over the waves. Um, I love his accent. Dramatically. <laughs> Tell me, what do you Tell. see when you cast your glance over this ocean? A kraken-infested wasteland? <laughs> a careful swim. Uh. Yeah, really. Quite so. He looks uh -huh. out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against your thoughts. Oh, this is. Well, this just happened last night. It could be a fluke thing. As for myself, yep. Yep. when I consider this vast expanse <laughs> before us, I see an empire. I see continents dotted with mighty cities. 
and shimmering along the soft curve of the sea's horizon, I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. It's a bit pretentious. Oh my god, the meow. Yes. <laughs> um. We are why an empire. It's rather specific. Quite obviously, I'm musing over the very actual empire that I lost. Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawking like an ape at an abacus. <laughs> or do you really mean to tell me you don't know who I am? <laughs> we could insult him or we could... Um... Let's try to impress him here. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah, let's go three. The very same. Mm -hmm. I am the Red Prince, the All Conqueror, the World Tamer, the Spouse of the Sun. So why are you here, stuck on this island? Of course <laughs> you know me. <laughs> There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates ever so slightly. That said, I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all conquering and world taming opportunities at the moment. That's what <laughs> I thought. Mm -hmm. sure that is my fate has a hit a bit of a snag. <laughs> never you uh -huh. mind. For the throne I was destined, for my throne I shall have. Okay. Isn't he Let's a tank? See. If you can choose what you want them to be, but name you his attack. Yes. Do we, want... Do we want him to be a tank on our team, or should we search for somebody else? <laughs> well, all depends. I do like the voice actor very much. Uh, he, I think, is the same who is in the Elder Scrolls Online, playing the um, the prince of the uh, mm -hmm. of Mary Dominion. He's got a very right. clear. But there, there are some, the other, some of the other characters are a bit more. Um, Colorful, but can we drop him later on if we find someone He's else? He's pretty colorful. He's red all over the place. <laughs> I feel surrounded by lizards. Yes, that was my worry though. Especially if they start licking you, <laughs> <laughs> trying to tell your future or your past or whatever. That's the elves, oh. not the lizards. Well, <laughs> the lizards can learn this sort of technique. It's not hard. <laughs> So, Arakel, can we drop him later if we want to change him, swap him out with someone else? I think so, yes. So shall we partake of his delightful accent then? I shall leave it up to you two. Ah, you can make the decision, Catherine. I think you want him, so let's, let's take him along. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came back for the others on that ship, after all. See, that was our fatal mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, I accept. All right, on he shall condition. come with us. Oh yes, what is the condition? You meow further. For reasons I'll not disclose right now, it is imperative that I should meet with a dreamer, one of our kind's revered mystics. I've reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him, and I'll extend you the blessing of my company. The blessing of my company? Oh dear. Of course, of course. Yes. All right, well, let's Jolly promise good. him. Jolly good. So, now that that's settled, first things first. Oh dear. Yes, carry me on your backs to this, this <laughs> guy. You are as versed in the art of eloquence as I am. That our swords will be doing a lot of the talking from here on out it goes without saying. As a born fighter, I prefer the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm well acquainted with the secrets of magic and, yes, even subterfuge. What it's say you? A number three, I think. Okay. Do we agree? Stick? Sure. I think we would <laughs> rather have a rogue in our party since we already have one Finesse of these. This is a condition one should assume in mm -hmm. any situation, from dining to discourse to dueling. What situations do you have in mind? Um. A rogue? Shadowblade? Wayfarer? I, I would say a rogue or a shadowblade. Okay. Your vote, Stig? I'll go with rogue. Very well. 
onwards then to victory or death. Let's see. Um, all right, that settles it. Nods and gives you a smile that wavers ever so delicately between courtesy and contempt. <laughs> now, as you're aware, you'll be travelling with a prince. Proper forms of <laughs> oh my God. God, your majesty, your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. <laughs> as your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't be required to carry my belongings. Excellent. Of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I'll see to it. You'll pick up the rest as we go. So, without further ado, let us be off. I have someone here on my desk who says that we need to find another companion as soon as possible. <laughs> um, uh, yes, uh, it's interesting because um, there is somebody specific who requested this guy specifically, who absolutely loved his accent, as I recall. I didn't specifically request him. I said that he has a very nice accent. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. You said it with much more vigor than that, I have to say. I Eek. Like cat. Eek. Maybe my luck is about to change. The I found a cat. Why are we eating over a cat? It's a nice it cat. It you with acute intensity. Hmm. What? How did I get... Hey, stop following me. I will go with number three. Me? I know who I am. <laughs> At least I think I do. Sometimes it feels like... No, I know who I am. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I like this cat. Uh-huh. I will go with, no with number one. A head? Obviously. Uh, no. Not mm. here. You won't... Won't be able to... Won't be... Is this cat drunk? This cat sounds the cat very odd. Its it's head, as if trying to wake up from a deep sleep. I will continue with number one. Huh? Yeah, fine. I'm fine. I just... I'm not sure. It's all a little foggy. And also number one. The cat opens his mouth as if to speak, but his eyes lose focus, and with a jerk he turns away from you. Right, okay. Hmm. An this cat is basically an achievement. If you can get through the island and keep the cat alive, you get an ability. Mm -hmm. uh, it does nothing uh, except for that. You have to keep him away from combat. He usually manages that himself. So he's following me now? Yes. He will be following me. There is something. There's a person here. One of the children. I wish more of us could have been saved. No, no. just tossing turtles around the sea and let's be. I did see one of them running out of the shore a few hours ago, so I guess some of them survived at least. Okay, so we know we can expect some danger possibly. Do we need to like search all of these little coves and stuff for things? There's well, I'm not sure over here. how much I should reveal. I remember that there is a plant or something that we need here Ooh, somewhere. Very good. But I don't remember where it is. Ah, long branch. Oh, you can see it right There's a yarrow here. flower. Was that the one stick? Yep. Okay, so we can go into the city now. Unless you want to find more stuff. There's a penny bun mushroom. Three of them. I can't see Are you them. going to be our cook? Hmm? Oh, all this way. I like how the mushrooms fly into my inventory. <laughs> yes, they're quite decorative that way. Here lies a nameless inmate. May he find the peace denied him in life in the Hall of Echoes. Oh, you're in control of the Red Prince, Catherine. I don't really need to be that in control of the Red Prince. Then you Can I transfer his ownership to someone else? You might be able to by dragging his portrait to one of us. Yeah. Cool. Now he's in control of himself, it seems. Is that a good thing? 
I think it will just stand there. I need to dig here. Can't okay, I can. But lizards can dig without a shovel. Yeah, I can't dig. But... This is so weird. When I drag the icon over... Oops. I, um... It shows the chains, but the chains don't connect. So do I need to dig this? One must put in due effort if one is to reap the proper reward. Oh my goodness, this digging is real. Oh, there's fighting happening. Oh. I think it's a zombie. It no, it's a, it, it's a freshly buried corpse. Well then. This thing... Okay. Oh, I have no range whatsoever on this. Okay. I'm not sure decaying touch is very much <laughs> use on an undead, Catherine. Um... You know, logic and all that? Yeah, um... I wonder if I do the restoration, if that will be opposite to what he... I think is. so. That sounds so? like yeah. That sounds likely. Yep. Oh there yes. You go. Kaboom. So um, I healed him and killed him all in one go. Nice. I don't want to step into that poison thing. Um, Can you get between me and the prince? I'll do this. I think you have an ability that can remove the poison. I shall throw my shield at him. <laughs> cool. Yeah, that works. Survived it. No, don't, don't walk in the poison. I wanted you to loot. There's nothing to loot. Okay, fine. Um. There are vines to the... To the... Oh, this thing spins around, doesn't it? This um, map. Where is that? Is the Red Prince still standing? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we need to find a way to attach him. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Let me... Can I attach him to myself? Oh, maybe you put it above the person. Oh, no, he just keeps on attaching to me for some reason. I cannot attach myself to him. Alright, I'll... Prince, let's go. <laughs> Alright, um... Can't reach the vines. Uh, no. Okay. Okay, hey, I guess we're going. Um, why is my... I hear there is shopping in the town. Oh, there's shopping? Excellent. Spotted For some reason, I thought it used to auto scroll with the character movement, but. You should double click on your uh, portrait. Okay. Oh, there we go. Thank you. SD pouch empty. Uh, remember, every time you get a new armor, um, I have no armor content. This this bush here didn't hear anything about that. Mm. I don't know how I get out of sneaking again. Ah, press C. Um, I shall send you my old tattered armor. How generous. I know. <laughs> For some reason, the Red Prince is leading. Oh, oh, and I'm talking to people. As the Red Prince? Yes, you're talking <gasps> to people as the Red Prince. I hope he has some I persuasive techniques. He does not. <laughs> I'd sooner cut my tongue out than but he's a lizard. I know nothing of any escapees. Did he seem very if persuasive you to you? No more, your tongue is he persuaded you. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> this can't be serious, Alexander. Come! 
You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister, whatever she may ask. Well, that's a specific thing you can say. <sighs> Command the kin to disobey. That's probably... she's probably going to die. Hmm. What do you guys think? I have no idea. Number six, perhaps? Okay. I don't think we want to fight these people. The tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Interesting. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, your holiness. I believe we're done here. Interesting. We all have snocks above our heads. The lizard magister, or what's left of her, lies in a puddle of gore. These magisters are almost vicious enough to join the lone wolves. So much for divine order, compassion. Hmm. She was a lizard, yet a magister. No matter her reasons, her penalty was fair. Oh dear. It was weird. I selected um, my character instead of the Red Prince. But uh, so, yeah. All right. Uh, did we just level that we're talking to each other? No, no. I don't think so. I think we no. just encountered a very special scene or something. Okay. So this is the city. Fort Joy Ghetto. We we'll probably sell stuff here, I hope. Red or brisket. You should talk to one of them. Okay. I don't know which one to choose. There's so many. No, sir. The dark-eyed jokester you met aboard the ship waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Mm -hmm. Back then, I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube. And you were... you. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. <laughs> Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? She reminds you very much about someone I know. Really? Who? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Um... Yes, we tried to make a run for the boat, but we didn't make it. The I rest saw is you blurry. Fall. We all did. Thought you were done for. When we get out of this place, I owe you a pint. So you managed to swim to safety, is that it? What about when you were in the water? Didn't hear anything unusual, did you? Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna avoid and ask if she heard something. No. I mean, not more unusual than usual. It's just, I thought maybe you... Losa's mm. voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. He will say gently call out to her and see if she's alright. Her snaps to you mechanically and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh. She might want to see a doctor. <laughs> yes. Anyway. I was gonna ask if she has some demons stuck inside her or something. Um. 
answer. I'm going to ask what she's asking. Oh, it's so strange. It's nothing really. It's just. <laughs> a bit, well, a bit hospitable. <laughs> hospitable? Yeah. Uh -huh. Put it like this You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a, a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Oh my. I have never thought about myself as a roadside inn. <laughs> Curiosity. <laughs> inn for the disembodied. Hmm. Let's see. Yes, ask her what now, she was hosting a few moments ago. Of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. So, how are you enjoying the joy? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. <laughs> uh, do we want to get the lay of the land with her? Do, would you rather have her than uh, the Red Prince? I already have you in the team. <laughs> okay. So true. And you can stay as long as your heart desires, free of charge. So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. Hmm. We could hesitate, and we're mentioned that we're not so sure about a travel <laughs> companion with an otherworldly spirit inside her. Sounds good to me. Anything about otherworldly? Demons and brain ghosts are just as brain ghosts. Or I. Mostly you. I think I have one. So, <laughs> Want to go together? Ghosting in the brain, yo. Um, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Right. Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, when, push comes to shove. Lately, sure. I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, hmm. what'll it be? So is this going to replace, or we're going to just get another party member for our team? I think it's replacing. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see if we I'm can do. Because we can. There's no thing to cancel it. No. What are you interested in exactly? Or we can change our mind. You can. Yeah. No, that I. I think, know the feeling. Yeah. Uh, no, it's not gonna let us say forget it. Okay. I'm not afraid. We'll just of choose the same kind of rogue. That's what yep. That's fine. So we're good to go. Yeah, yeah. we're good to go. Yeah. Hey, wait a sec. It looks like you have all the company you need. <laughs> Maybe another time, when you're a bit more on the lonely side. <laughs> yes, then we need Still another then? roadside in. Yes. It was so weird that it went through the whole process of picking and choosing, and then, no, nope, sorry. Nope. Should have asked that question first, I think. I was wondering... Are they all going to be like... I don't know if we can God. drop you this guy. I think you can. So I meant with you we're going to talk with these guys. No. Oh, these guys? You want to talk with these? Yes. We've got Kana. Respect. Huh. Someone's got to keep this place running. Griff can't do it for free. Why'd you got to make this so hard? Pay up, Elf. No one shorts Griff. Especially not one of you. Hmm. Indeed. Let's see. What do we do? Four? Okay. All right. You two ought to be thanking your lucky gods it's us and not the magisters enforcing round here. A fool never knows what they've got till it's well and gone. Now come on, Elf. If you make me say it again, there's gonna be trouble. Hmm. Are we gonna save the elf? I would prefer to save the elf. What do you think, uh, Stig? Sure. We got a sister. For sure it'll be fine. And it looks like you. <laughs> Don't. All right, we're in a bit of a fight here. Whoa! Somebody. Oh, they backstabbed, critted things, happening stuffs. Who are we targeting, actually? Kana and Burrow. Hard target is too far. And get Kana. Okay, and 
Yeah, it looks like I just got rid of her armor, nothing more. Nice. Yeah, that was rather nice, yes. I feel encouraged. You should. Should we? Care where the cat is right now? <laughs> I don't know where the cat is. No, I. Oh, I'm I'm holding on to the prince now. All right, cool. What kind of abilities does he have? Throwing knife, backstab, backlash, adrenaline, trying to blaze. Okay, let's get the throwing knife out maybe. Nice. Okay. Cool. Oh, that was a cool ability. <laughs> Lots of us are on fire. Um, I... I don't know if we feel too comfortable about this. <laughs> Who shall we get? Oh, the Kana is dead. Looks like just Burrow? Yep. I think Kana is quite... crispy? <laughs> Very crispy. Okay, we can do the Dragon's Blaze. It's number five. Rawr. Uh -huh. There we go. Kill all the dudes. There is a safe place. She says, while on fire. Yes. Ooh, a shirt. So who wants a one-handed mace? I do. But at the moment, I'm following her to this safe place. Uh -huh. I'm following her. I want to see where the safe place is. Oh. It's in a cave. Hmm. Okay, so... Should we talk to more people and fight them more of them again? <laughs> I just wanted to see where the safe place is. Oh, it would be nice to actually ah. have some... Uh, some... Some battles. Oh, battles. You want more battles? All right, I'll talk to more people. There are warm people there. They're not wet. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Come um, to the warm people. Uh, there is uh, one guy on the other side here. He's got a quest for us. Okay. Can you lead the way, then? Uh, and if you want to the merchant, just talk to this woman. Okay. Amidst ah. a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. Right she doesn't I look up there is a, uh, a merchant. Uh, what are you after? Oh. I ain't. Just so you know, it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself. For those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Nothing of mine needs testing. Pale okay, wolf. okay, Don't okay. Waste any more of my time. So, here's a forger of a painting woman. And a ripped painting. It's a fishbone, a pillow, and a gold cup, actually. Do I want to keep this deck of cards? I don't think so, no. No. Well. I have lots of stuff to sell her. Sell away. I'm sending you more stuff that you can sell. Okay. 
cool. Mm -hmm. uh, remember to check how much money she's got. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, that washing tub was a present, Catherine. <laughs> That's a different one. I put <laughs> I put mine down uh, on the beach so I can remember it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Sure. <laughs> well, if you were going for for good gifts, um, considering how much on the run we are, um, mm -hmm. washing tub is something that's quite difficult to haul around everywhere. You know. Mm -hmm. Not that I'm setting a bad example by wearing a bucket on my head or anything. I don't know. <laughs> Does anyone want? Uh... No. What just happened? <laughs> I accidentally picked up the broom. I didn't mean to. <laughs> the woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow. Now I have to sell everything again. <laughs> Why didn't you sell it the first time? <laughs> because you did that just as I was supposed to click accept. <laughs> Oops, the very same moment I was about to click accept, I just. Because I feel sulfur from the ground. <laughs> Mm. No scraps. There's a cat I can steal. Don't steal the cat. <laughs> Leave the cat alone. Cat is. Oh, that's so cute. It was stretching. How adorable. I think cats do that, you know. Not in games, they don't. Not usually. It's a nice detail. Well, I would like gold in return for it. What is she offering you? Rusty nails or something? I have to click exactly how much gold I want back. I think there's a scale there. That there is, thank you. Accept. She accepted my offer. I am so happy. <laughs> um, go away. Did you get much money from it? 296, actually. That's not too bad. No. I have um, 10 gold at the moment. I have 415. Nice. Is there a sort button for my inventory? Yep. Or is it? At the top it says auto, auto sort and sort by. Thank you. So, where is this uh, person that uh, our persuasive woman is supposed to talk to? Is this <laughs> Gavin? Okay. And you have to say you're alone. Of course. Hmm. Yes, we are alone. Listen up. <laughs> yes, yes, we, we are alone. Stranger, but this camp is full of cowards and I'm running out of time. Fast. Too fast. Way too fast. Uh, what are you planning? I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. What should I do? Do we want in? I guess we should. Absolutely. Had a girl. Who wouldn't? Finally, uh -huh. someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple, completely foolproof. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. Mm -hmm. Sounds kind of magical. Mm -hmm. There's an artifact that you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. I like that description. <laughs> mm hmm. Let's see. Guess we should ask where it's we can find way it. It's to a nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Here, give me your map and I'll show you where to go. Okay. Crocodilians? That's a funky name. 
Mm -hmm. Not enough to How trouble many? a fine specimen such as yourself. Get that artifact, and you and You're I... A fine specimen, this. Catherine. Go give those lizards... <laughs> I think I'd rather be a specimen than a roadside inn. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So, we made it here. So, where are we going to go next? Let's see. I think this is a good spot to uh, end the episode, actually. Actually, you're right. That sounds good. So, uh, would you like to do the honors? Uh, it's your turn. <laughs> Okay. Exactly. All right. Well, I am very interested. There's lots more to visit in this village. Plenty more people to talk to. Um, but unfortunately, we need to go. So thank you so very much for joining us. Take care of yourselves and each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.